Who can serve process? Hi, this is Larry Kay with ShadowAnyone.com and the creator of the Investigator's Ultimate Guide series, which is premium private investigator training from someone who's been there and done that. Who can serve process? I'm going to answer a short and quick answer, and then I'm going to unpack it a little bit, and I'm going to try not to lose my mind in the process. Okay, so the short answer, most places, every place that I know who can serve process, there's two requirements. One, you got to be 18 years or older, and number two, not a party to the case. In other words, this is not a case that involves you. You're not the plaintiff, you're not the defendant. And that's not a problem for most of us over 18, and say we're working for a law firm or a law firm has hired us, uh, or even individuals can come to us uh, outside of a law firm and say, hey, my law firm's having trouble with this. They told me to call a process server, contact a private investigator, see if they could help me. So in those cases, you're not a party to the case. Boom, you're qualified. That's the way for everywhere that I know of. Now, here's what I will hear a lot, uh, and I will get this, people will drop it in the comments, uh, people will send me emails, uh, and this is what I hear from them. In my state, only a deputy can serve process. Okay. Every time someone has said that to me, I have been very quickly been able to discover that that is not the case. I'm not entirely sure why people think this. I, I think there are two reasons. One is they kind of look online and the first thing or two they stumble upon they actually believe and the number two thing is the people who are doing this if they've started a process serving business this is not the hardest thing in the world to do or especially to qualify for so I honestly believe there's some misinformation being put out there or certainly not being corrected which is what I'm trying to do here today so inevitably when I get the see the comments or I get an email from someone uh, I will look at their state law and see that it says something like only a deputy can serve process. That's, you could put that in quotation marks, it's right out of their state law. But read the rest of the sentence. If you haven't found it at the state law site, if you haven't found it actually in the code, read the rest of the sentence. Usually it says a uh, process can only be served by a deputy or someone duly appointed by the court so uh, and then those two requirements kick in uh, that you be 18 or older and not a party to the case so if you're wondering can you serve process in your area here's two ways to go about looking at this one and i would say one is to do a rather quick internet search looking for source material actually looking at your state law this going to the same sites that lawyers go to and read it word for word read the footnotes and it usually very quickly and very clearly will explain who can serve process and in every case that I've uh, looked at these things up it's been for a private individual can if they're appointed by the court little side note don't freak out about this appointed by the court thing you don't got to put on a suit and a tie or a nice dress and go down before the judge and show your resume and raise your hand and sit on the stand and take questions no you usually never I you never see a judge for this. The law firm will just, with their packet of papers, file a piece of paper uh, requesting that the judge appoint so-and-so you as process server, and it might even say in the paper that this person is over 18 and not a party to the case. The judge will sign it off. It's, it's done so routinely. It's kind of a rubber stamp thing. It's important, but don't you freak out about having to be appointed by the court. Uh, so the other thing you can do, do, aside from doing a quick search online, looking at primary documentation, is contact your county. Make a phone call to your county. This is usually where these things are resolved. Regardless of what state law says, the county will follow state law, but these decisions are made at the county level. It's the county level judges who uh, appoint process servers. So again, quick search online maybe, but call the courthouse. You may, and you may not even get a good answer, the right answer, you may get a little a bit of phone tag going on. You might actually have to put on your big boy pants, go down to the courthouse, find a parking space, go through the metal detectors, and ask around, try to figure out where to go, who do I talk to about serving process. 
and you may go to one or two offices they may send you to the bailiff that the bailiff may send you somewhere else the point is if you're looking to do this if you're looking to start a business or gain experience that a detective agency might be interested in having when they hire you you're gonna have to do more than just sit on the couch and make some phone calls and this is why I try not to lose my mind this stuff will not just be handed to you it's not tricky it's not difficult there's no secret handshake but but you got to do the work the the people who work at the courthouse the government workers I honestly believe the ones I know they're just working hard and doing a good job but they deal with a lot of the public and just the looky-loos the people looking for a simple answer that cuts their way they deal with that all day long you may have to be the person who puts a little extra effort into it to demonstrate that you're serious and that you really want to know the details of this so I hope this is helpful to you I, I know this is the type of thing that you can get lost trying to figure out on your own so I'm glad that you're here at a reliable source if you like more information like this I do have a free report over at shadowanyone.com uh, titled if you want to be a private investigator give up unless you do these three things I give some uh, more solid advice some things I talk about there you're getting from someone who's been there and done that get good solid information like that and by the way everything I've talked about here costs you zero dollars it's free so use those free resources you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to, to get into this business this is Larry K with shadowanyone.com remember do the right thing even if it's the hard thing